People make mistakes all the time. We're playing Dortmund today and not Celtic. You probably would have figured that out from the thumbnail before watching this video. I forgot to press record on the Celtic game, but we'll go over it and I'll show you the goals anyway. It was a bad game for me to not record. Anyway, roll the intro. Hello and welcome back to the NK Marabra Save. I'm Cultured Left Foot and it's a pleasure to have you with me. As you can see, we are playing Dortmund. Our form is absolutely magnificent at the moment. Uh, if we go to the beginning of the season then, after all of our friendly stuff, I think we covered up to the Dom Zale game because that's when uh, it was the deadline day for the window. We ended up winning that 4-1, pretty easy. Cespedes getting two, Santiago Lopez getting two. We beat Kersico 2-0. Sam Leftfoot got a goal in that as well. He started the season pretty damn well. Uh, we then beat Celtic 4-0 with three, uh, no, sorry, with uh, four different goal scorers. Cardos got a goal, Pavling got a goal, Ricardo got a goal, and Mustafa got a goal. We went on to play the big rivals Ljubljana after that and won 6-1. Three different strikers on the score sheet. Paul Radford got two, Michael Mitchell got one, and Hams Begovic got two as well. Ricardo, the centre-back, got another one in that game as well. Tabor, Cezana in the cup were pushed to a side pretty easily. We played Paul Radford up front with Michael Mitchell. I think it was. No, we didn't. We played Paul Radford and then he got replaced by Michael Mitchell. Paul Radford got another brace in that and Phil Coates got his first goal of the season as well. And we've just played Ruda Valenje and we beat them 3-1 with Alex Cardos getting a double and Hadji getting a penalty as well in what was a pretty much rotated team. We're using the full depth of our squad this season and it's working out pretty damn well to be honest obviously this game might ask some questions we beat Ljubljana 6-1 how can three different strikers score when you play one up front well we're working on a new tactic it's a 5-3 at the well 5-1-2-2 two, two is what football manager calls it it's a 3-5-2 formation that's what I would call it three centre backs we've got good centre backs so why not play them all in the league uh, Anchorman which is what Takax and Eric Dyer prefer to play as Right and left wing backs like normal. Which I just don't want a flat back five. I prefer them to be a bit higher up and attacking. Two of playmakers in the middle and then a target man and a complete forward. So we can play Hams Begovic and Cardos. Or we can play uh, Mitchell and Radford up front as well. It just gives us a bit... Oh, a, it gives us another option. And B, it allows us to play two strikers when we want to go and score loads of goals. I did actually use this formation against uh, Celtic when we beat them 4-0. So I'm tempted to use it again today against Dortmund, bring, bring a little bit of a surprise on them. Uh, we'll look at the Celtic game. As you can see, we absolutely bossed it at Celtic Park. 31 shots to their six. They only, we only allowed them to have one shot on target. And then we absolutely bossed possession as well, 53% of possession away, which was a very, very good performance. So if we look at the goals... The first goal was scored by Cardos. Mustafa played it out to Hams Begovic, back to Mustafa with a little 1-2, got into the box but laid it off to Cardos who belted it in off the post. That put us 1-0 up very early on. Where was that? 11 minutes in. And then from there, we just carried on absolutely bossing the game and I'm not too sure why I press a wire press lead match there, but we'll come back and we'll look at the other goal. So Jaka Pavlin got the second from a corner. Mustafa swings it in. Hamza Begovic gets a touch. Keeper's nowhere to be found. And Jaka Pavlin then puts it in, which is good. It made it 2-0, his first goal of the season. Cardo, the other centre-back, then scored a goal. It was another corner. Mustafa lined up, put it in, headed clear pretty poorly. Cardos back in. Landers deflected into Ricardo's path off Hamza Begovic. And he just nicely put it in, which was, uh, it says his first goal and a debut goal. That's a lie, because he scored one in the game before. So I think the game just had a bit of a funny five minutes there. And then Mustafa got in on the action after his two corners assisted some other goals. It was headed clear, fell to Carlos. Mustafa on his favoured left foot just placed it nicely in at the post. And the goalkeeper should probably feel he could do better. But they're the four goals that we had against Celtic. And it leads us on very nicely to show that we are top of the group in Group C. Uh, Dortmund lost to PSG, so they're currently on zero points. It was a 1-0 win to PSG. We beat, obviously beat Celtic 4-0, so we go top on goal difference at the moment. But we face Dortmund, and if we get a win here, it puts us in a very, very good position. So without much more to do, we'll crack on to the game day. 
So we do line up in our 5-3-2 formation. I want to give it a go against Dortmund, who are playing a 4-4-2. Nicholas Coca-Cola Bacola starts in goal. He has been in amazing form since we re-signed him. Hasby, Ricardo and Pavlin are the back three. Deutschmann starts as the right wing back. Takax in the middle and Tapia as the left wing back. Lopez and Mustafa are in the middle. Hamsbegovic and Cardos both start up front. And normally when they start up front, that means goals. They've got some very good players, have these guys. Uh, but they're missing Prince Mensa, who was the top goal scorer in the Champions League last year. So it's quite a big miss for them. I don't want to look at their strikers because it will just make me sad how good they are. The game gets underway then. Let's see how, no offence to Celtic fans, but our new formation gets on against a really big team in Europe. I'm not saying Celtic aren't big. They obviously are, but... They're not as big as Dortmund, are they? So hopefully we can get off to, well, or, well, not even get off to a good start, carry on this good start that we've had in the league, in the Champions League, sorry, and qualify from this group as Cardos hits in. It's gone in, off the post, off the goalkeeper. It's credited to Alex Cardos. Now, I don't. there is definitely something wrong with the game now because it keeps saying every single goal they score is first goal of the season, and that is definitely not Cardos's first goal of the season. It may be in this competition, but it's not of the season as a whole. I'm assuming that's what it means, but... We'll have to uh, keep an eye on that. But as Amadi comes forward, on the right-hand side, ball in, has be heads clear. Lopez can't get there. Buckle shoots high wide and not at all handsome. And we're off to a fantastic start here at the Lujkovert as time is flying by as Deutschmann gets there to Lopez. Mustafa can't find Cardos. It clears to Paz. Paz looks forward, runs with it. Lopez with a great tackle into Deutschmann. Ball over the top. Hamsbergovic is in behind. If he can square it to Cardos, he doesn't need him. Oh, he shoots and it goes just past the post. And we are playing unbelievably well right now. Dennis with the ball in. Pavlin looks to clear it. Mustafa picks it up. Hamzogovic will get there. No, sorry, it's Cardos. Cardos comes forward. Beats one. Couldn't quite get away from Bunga. But the clearance is poor and Deutschmann picks it up. Hamzogovic is beaten to the ball by Fossum and he needs to do better. And it launches Dortmund into attack. Paz around the goalkeeper. The angle was tight, but he's finished it very, very well. And that makes it 1-1. And it was a very good finish from Paz. I've got a feeling he's an Argentinian international. But he came round Bacola. Didn't quite get his angles right, Nicola Bacola. But it's a good finish. It's a very good finish from a tight angle. And it makes it 1-1. And I'm hoping that we don't then lose confidence. As Mustafa's put through. He's through one-on-one -on -one himself. And he's shot. And Omer makes a good save. And these are the sort of chances that we could rue against these bigger clubs. Because we need to beat them. And we need to... This is what shows how good we are and get our reputation and our coefficient up. As Tapia is beaten in the air, but Cardos will pick up the rebound. Back to Deutschmann. Out wide to Lopez. Lopez looks to get across and he does. Cardos can't get there. Mustafa round to Tapia. Off the post. Oh, the youngster Juan Tapia. So unlucky. Probably should have scored from that position. But so unlucky to just belt it against the post. And we're ticking down. And it's nearly half time. Five minutes still half time. We've still got a lot of time in this game to find a winner over 45 minutes as Hamsbergovic picks it up into Hasby whose shot is blocked Pavlin gets there round the corner to Tapia looked offside was given offside and well we're still playing very very well this formation appears to be quite good at the moment players are looking quite nervous I'm not sure why so I'm gonna just calmly tell them I'm pleased that's what I'm gonna say hopefully that'll get rid of some of the nervousness and then I'll just calmly tell them you know there's a lot more to come I believe that they can all do it they can just carry on out there and do well they seem to enjoy that team talk so no changes at half time in personnel or tactics we're just going to keep this train rolling as Hasby plays it into Mustafa up to Hamsbergovic into Cardos bit of space out wide and he finds Tapia can he put a cross in he does but Dortmund managed to smuggle it away and possibly they're going to launch a counter attack from this the conception comes forward but Juan Tapia it's exactly why I don't want to sell him and I'm going to probably try and give him a new contract and get rid of that minimum release fee because I really don't want to sell him at all. We've got a penalty. That There was no highlight to show why that was given away. Something's definitely up with the game. And again, it's saying he scored on his debut. And this is really, really weird. Uh, Takax comes up, plus puts the penalty away. I have no idea what he was given for. But we're 2-1 up. And something is definitely going on with Football Manager at the moment. And uh, I'm not going to complain while we're winning games. But it's just all very, very strange. But we're 2-1 up. Uh, people are playing well. Ricardo's having a bit of a poor game at the back as Bunga takes a throw. Tapia heads it clear. Comes to Amadi on the edge. Ball in. Dennis in acres of space. Shoots. Scores. And uh, Bacolo 
is there. Now, it's not doing it for Dortmund. It's, he's got three goals of the season. It's only doing it for us, which is very, very bizarre. As the ball goes in, Dennis had loads of time, completely unmarked. Bacola could do nothing. We've thrown away two leads in this game, which isn't very good at all. So we're going to um, just see if we can make a sub. Hamzogovic isn't doing brilliantly well. Haven't got a striker on the bench because I didn't register Mitchell or Radford for the league. Ricardo's not doing that well either. I think what we're going to do is going to take Hamzogovic off. We'll leave Cardos up front on his own. And then it's going to be Ricardo off for Cespedes and Itama, or Itama coming on for Hamzogovic. And we'll go back to our normal formation and see what we can get out of the game. Can this get us another goal? There is a highlight straight after kickoff, apparently, or it could just be for the substitutions. Either way, we're, we seem to be doing all right at the moment. And we've just got to hope these changes and the change in tactics don't mess us up too much as Deutschmann gets to the header first. It's up to Lurario. They've changed to a bit more of an attacking formation as Paz shoots from range and Bacola taps it, taps it over the bar. Keeps this uh, in there, but Dortmund have a corner. Dennis, ball in, Bacola with a great catch, and he comes out and claims it very, very well, which is what we need from our goalkeeper at the moment. So I'm hoping we'll be able to get in behind with them playing this attacking 4-2-4. Both teams are going for this. No one really wants to settle for the draw, which is uh, quite interesting, because you'd think us being a much lower-ranked team, we would settle for it, but I'm not doing that at the moment. As Paz finds Dennis, Cespedes was robbed earlier on in this move as Bacola... Makes a very easy catch, and we don't really need to worry about this. As we're still going on, oh, Hasby, what are you doing? I'm fed up of goals like that. We've had about three or four of them already this season. And every time they blame the goalkeeper, and I don't know why, saying it's too easily beaten his near post. But my tactical changes may have cost us this game. Oh, I don't know, you, can't, you can't legislate for errors like that can you we just to let you know it's a complete sellout 15,510 people here i'm going to bring and landers on for Juan Tapio. he hit the post in the first half but let's just get a bit of fresh legs running up and down that left wing still have no idea what we got a penalty for and why it's telling me that it's everyone's first goal of the season as i said it did it with ricardo in a previous game he scored two goals in two different games back to back and he said each one was his first goal of the season so something's definitely up i might have to contact side games and see what they've got to if there's any other reports as Paz is put through and he's he's in into the area cuts it back Foss and Bacola makes a very good save and I don't think this formation's working so we're going to go back to the three at the back and I'm going to play Takax in there Lopez can sit there Cespedes can play as a right wing back um, Itama is just going to have to play up front Cespedes is going to have to play as a wing back the change in formation hasn't worked it's opening us up too much as Dortmund go back to their 4-4-2 as well, can we grab an equaliser? Landers comes forward looking for Cardos, but he wasn't found. In fact, let's change Cardos and Itama the other way around so we can have Cardos as the more attacking complete forward and hope that we can nick a goal. As Dennis lines up a free kick for Dortmund, it goes over, has be heads clear. Cardos will bring it away up to Itama. Back to Cespedes, back to Cardos. He's made some good progress here. He's a cut back. Is that a foul? It's not. Fossum back to Carini. Into Riega. Buckle. Out to Bunga. Bunga to Brettenberger. Brettenberger just taking his time. Has to hoof that clear. And Pavlin has a free header. It was a poor header, but Mustafa made up for his error. And Lopez gets some sort of ball back to him from Pimble. Out to Landers. Landers beats his man. What can he do? Can he put a cross in? He does, but again, it comes to nothing. What a stupid time to end the highlight. Deutschmann heads clear. We're not really chasing that ball, but Brittenberger back to Dennis. Dennis, ball in, Spru, offside. Bacola made the save anyway onto the post, and it looks like we're not going to be able to get anything from this. Lopez, ball in, headed clear. Dennis picks it up, out to Paz. Paz just runs with it. Let's go and close him down. Come on, we should be closing him down. He's got round one tackle. Ball in. Bacolo makes the catch. And there's only two minutes of injury time left. And we've thrown away a lead. It's very similar to that Man City game. Except for this time, we're at home. And we're away when we lost the lead to Man City. Lopez to Deutschmann. We need to do it now, boys. Up to Cardos. Can he have the pace to get for us the defence? He shoots from the edge of the box. And it fires over. He just ran out of steam as he tried to run away from the defenders. But we just could not break them down in that little manoeuvre as Takax wins the header playing in an unfamiliar role for him at centre back but he'll have the experience and the capability to do it Mustafa to Deutschmann lovely ball out to Cardos let's get in the box Itama can he cross it back he doesn't it's a cross straight into the hands of Omar it's disappointing 
as the Dortmund goalkeeper clears it up the line quickly. Deutschmann gets there into Mustafa. Again, we're, we are creating attacks. We just can't put it in the back of the net. Deutschmann looking for some movement. Couldn't find Cespedes on the run forward. But the second ball does from Lopez. He's offside in the 90th minute. And Dortmund will surely just see this out with a bit of time wasting. As there's only four, three seconds to go. And it looks like we're going to rue those missed chances we've had. We've had two clear-cut chances and two half chances in the game and only scored two goals. And Omar wasted time perfectly and it's a 3-2 loss, which is so disappointing. I mean, I'm going to say they're unlucky because we have played very well, but it's opened up the group again. We're in such a good position. Uh, he'll learn from it and come back and be more determined than ever. Um... You expect to be on the high but only lost, but I'm pleased with how we play collectively. It bodes well for the future. Carlos Paz, there was a lot we could have done today. He was just a class apart. Carlos Paz, he was very, very good. But yeah, that is disappointing to lose a game in that way. Even if it is against the big team like Dortmund, you just always want to do better. You just, it's just disappointing. The formation seemed to work, though. It seemed to be a good little formation to play, and I'm quite happy with it. The chances we made using it and the possession we kept playing it which is very, very good. So it's something we'll keep in our locker again. It's just disappointing when you have chances as we did and you, and you don't put them away. It's very, very annoying, that, on Football Manager. And I don't know why, right? So it said Cardos, that was his first goal of the season. It most definitely isn't. He scored three other. So I'm a bit concerned that something might be going wrong with the game. I mean, all the time while it's working, I'm just going to keep playing it. But I, that has made me a little bit concerned because I don't want to ruin this game or you know the, the aspects of it because I've put such a lot of effort into it and you guys are really enjoying it and on that note leave a like if you are enjoying this series and you know leave a little comment saying hello I've got new more comments and more people commenting it's really good to meet you guys uh, and go through that so just keep letting me know uh, well a let me know what you think I should do with the squad and b have you guys ever had this issue where it keeps saying every goal is their first goal of the season and he's got a goal on his debut which was very odd for Ricardo when that happened because um, it's quite clearly not his debut. He played for us last season. Anyway, I'm rambling. We're going to leave this episode here. We are going to be back for... I might actually play all of these and we'll be back for the second game against Paris Saint-Germain just so we can speed it up a little bit. Um, and we'll probably do both the last group games, if especially the Dortmund one, if we're playing for something in it. Because the group stage, in the early part of this series, the group stage was the focal point of the series because it was new and exciting. But... I think I can start to speed through the group stages now because we're continually either getting into the Europa League and going through to the quarterfinals or semi-final sort of rounds or we'll be in the knockout rounds of the Champions League and we'll see who we get. Um, let me know what you think about that as well in the comments down below. Do you think I should speed it up a little bit and not do every single Champions League group stage or are you happy doing seeing every single Champions League group stage game let me know down below that's what my plan is to do let me know how you feel about it but anyway we're going to leave it there for now thank you very much for watching guys it's been an absolute pleasure having you with me and we'll be back as I said for the second leg probably against PSG where we sort of need to get a result and I think we're going to probably lose the away leg in PSG so we've got to beat them at home and keep in contention to qualify from this group thanks very much for watching Please leave a comment below, leave a like if you've enjoyed the video and you're enjoying the series. Subscribe if you're new, the subscribe account is still going up and it's wonderful to see. But thanks very much guys and I'll chat to you in a bit. Cheers.